Hello pretty friends, this is Allison Wheeler coming on today to share one of my uh, favorite tricks that I can do in Lightroom. This will be especially helpful to you wedding photographers out there. Um, I um, often shoot my weddings with uh, the help of a second shooter. So we've got two cameras going at one time um, shooting the same things and whenever I get all the images loaded up in Lightroom, um, my images load up and then kind of randomly um, my second shooter's images pop in there too. And I have learned that light, through Lightroom you are able to time sync your images so that they flow together and tell this beautiful story of the wedding day. So I am going to show you how to get that done. This will literally take about 30 seconds and you can jot down some notes because there's there's kind of there's quite a few steps but um once you get get it down in your memory it is so simple okay so to get started time syncing your images you need to be in the library mode so just click on over to library and you want to make sure this filter bar is showing um, you can tap the backslash button uh, if it's not so just right up here and I always want to make sure my right panel is showing so I just click the arrow for it to pop open so if we go back up here to the filter bar you can click on metadata and then you'll come over here to where it says camera and if you hover over camera the little arrows pop up you can click that and go down to camera serial number so click you can see there's two cameras um, uh, my camera and my partner's camera. Um, if you don't know which is which, you could just kind of click on one and you can see um, like my uh, files are always start with the ZX so I know that this serial number is mine and the other is my second shooters. So I am picking my camera and then I always want to go and find a shot during the day like where I'm taking a picture and I know my second shooter is also taking a photo. So on a wedding day, that's always going to be, for me, the first kiss, so or the wedding kiss. And um, so I've already pop popped the image, uh, selected this image from that I shot, and it's, you know, he's getting ready to pronounce them man and wife, and boom, they start to kiss. So I click on this image, and then I come over here to my right panel and scroll down, and it says capture time. So it was taken at 5.32 p.m. or 5.32 uh, and 45 seconds and on September the 6th. So I want to uh, write that down or you could memorize it if you've got a great memory. So write that down and then you want to go back up here to your um, camera serial numbers and then click on the other camera. So then you're gonna scroll through the other images and find one that it's happening about the same time. So I'm going to go up here about to pronounce the man and wife. Okay, so here it is right here. This first image of that first kiss. So I've got this one. I make sure you click it and then go up to edit select all. So after you do that, you will come over here now I'm in Lightroom CC, so this is a little bit different. I noticed whenever I changed over from Lightroom 4 to the Creative Cloud Lightroom, um, where this is located is a little bit different. So in Lightroom 4, it's like up here. Um, I don't really quite remember, but I know it's somewhere at the top where you can click edit the capture time. But in the Lightroom CC, it's right here. Um, it says capture time. And then right here, this little box with the, the, the dots and the lines, edit capture time. So I'm going to click to open that window. And it says the original time was taken at this. So under corrected time, this is where I'm going to enter in the, num the time and date that I wrote down from my image. So you always want to check the date because th your partner's camera might be on a different date. So check the date and then check the time. So I wrote down at 5 o'clock or 5.32 and then 45 seconds p.m. and then hit change all and it says up here that the operation can't be undone don't panic um, really all it is it's adjusting the time you can see um, it's it's not like gonna erase any files or anything it's just gonna change the time so click change all and it's going through up here at the top 
and it's done. So what I like to check, um, I just go back up to the top and click on the to to view every cam everything, um, all the images. Sorry, and if I come here and look, there is about to pronounce the man and wife, and you can see that these are my images and her images just populate right on through, and it's really just a perfect little seamless. Um, transition it looks really good um, you might see let me show you there might be like a few since it's down to like literally the milliseconds like here right here where um, I'm taking a picture and they're still kissing and then she takes it and it's already done but I still had like one um, where they're, they're kissing and the Lightroom are in the library module what you can do is just click click on the one image and you can drag it um, to flip. So really after you do the capture time it's just going to be those tiny little fixes based on those milliseconds that you might have to change. So um, just to make sure you're able to view it by capture time just head up here to view and um, where is it? View then down to sort and then by capture time. So and there you go. Oh well okay and then if you do switch it over it's going to be like in a custom view. But anyway, so it's real quick and simple and wonderful, a great little trick for you guys to time sync your images in Lightroom. Have a good day.